So uh, my name is Bella. I'm in the Honors College as a sophomore, uh, majoring in biochemistry and molecular biology. My learning experience in London was different in the way that, well, first of all, I wasn't on campus. It was my first experience with OSU ever, and I was in London. Uh, you wake up, go on the tube, which is essentially a subway in London, um, travel to the classroom, and then stay in class for a couple hours, and then after class, you go and see exactly what you were talking about in class. So we were talking about Beowulf uh, one day in class, and then went to the museum where a very old manuscript of Beowulf uh, was there, and we got to see that. Um, another example was reading A Misnomerized Dream and doing performances in class um, with the friends that I made there, and then going to see it in the Globe Theatre, um, a spectacular performance. I thought uh, going on the London trip as my first experience um, at OSU, so I, I was a freshman coming into it, was really helpful because it made me feel um, like I was already a part of the community here before even stepping onto the campus. So advice for students going on the London or the France trip, you have to be flexible. Being in high school with your parents and just everything being the same all the time, to you're out in London with people that you just met, uh, professors you just met, and you get to do whatever you want. After class, it's, it's free time to go explore or work on your homework, mostly explore. <laughs> Shakespeare's Globe Theatre was probably my favorite place to visit. So as context, we had just read Midsummer Night's Dream and did our own little performances in class, and then we went to the Globe Theatre and saw the performance there. First we learned some about the history and the background of the Globe, which made it even more spectacular being inside, and it, it was decorated so beautifully. The actors did a contemporary take on the show, and I think it is definitely the best theatre show that I have ever seen. And it was really wonderful for me because I'd done theater for most of my life before that and through high school. So it was it was really it was a really beautiful experience for me. The food we had a pizza place that was kinda close by where we were staying. I remember that being really good. There was like some hot or spicy sort of um, oil that we put on top, but probably the most London food that I had uh, was a gigantic plate of fish and chips. The fish was this big. <laughs> and there's a picture of me holding it. Uh, so yeah, the food was good. The things that were different between London and then other cities in the US were little things that I wasn't expecting. Things like how the electricity ports in the walls, you could shut them off when you weren't using them. And I thought that was really cool. Uh, just There were so many little ways in which they were very uh, conservative of their energy. Another huge one that I thought was really great was that they don't really have a lot of fast food and their, their version of fast food is like organic sort of lunch. There was this place called, um, oh, I don't remember what it was called, but it was, I think it was a French name for a place, and they had fantastic smoothies. Um, and instead of having like McDonald's hamburgers, they had little um, plates of like pasta or sandwiches. And so it might have been the area specifically that we were in, or it could have been the culture. That I'm not really sure because uh, we stayed mostly in London and then traveled to Cambridge and Canterbury a couple times, but didn't go out into the countryside very much. I would advise to come into it with an open mind and with a propensity to stay flexible. Because we did so much in such a small period of time, we were kind of running around all of London doing so many things that not everything can stay right according to the schedule or go exactly as planned. And that was a great, that was a wonderful part of it. Uh, that's what made it truly a study abroad trip to me. So the day that we went and visited the London Eye, I went back that night with my now best friend Emma, we met on the trip, and just kind of toured the area around it. At this point in the night, it was it was lit up in a way that it really caught the reflection of the water across from it. And just touring the area around it, it was so full of life. There were so many little shops and a market. Everyone was out on the street. It was such a party and such a good time, experiencing the nightlife of London around there. One thing I didn't know about London was how, not important, but how much they like ping pong there. Uh, we went to a ping pong place, uh, kind of like a ping pong club, one day um, in the evening. And going in there, it was all, it was like black lit. I was wearing a white shirt, I didn't know, so I was glowing. And there was so much energy just around playing the ping pong in there. I thought that was really fun, especially since I'm not very good at ping pong. <laughs> Something that I thought was really cool uh, that I noticed about London was the amount of diversity in the people there and how how normalized and widespread 
that diversity was. I think that's something, something else that I noticed that was different about the culture that I really enjoyed.